sleeping that bin that I filmed yesterday. I've been bad about filming today. Got a busy mind, but and I've been driving to the elevator. I took a couple loads over there. Um, but now we're moving to another bin. This one isn't as full. So I'll have to sweep it eventually, probably tomorrow um, or the next day. But we gotta scoop out the snow it's all piled up in front of the unloading auger of the bin because we got a couple inches and whoever plowed it right into right in front of where we need to uh, unload out of i'll show you oh yeah but this is the lucky bin right here yeah so when we move to a new bin oh do you guys hear that sound that's my pickup. It's being annoying. I think I'm just going to trade it off. Um, <coughs> when we switch to a new bin, got to make sure the breaker works. Got to make sure the covers are off. Um, all the yoodly hottie wee highs that go with that. A lot of snow comes up to my knees. That's all cleared out. Now I gotta take this little cover off. Now we always just throw that over there. Um. What the heck? Oh, it's because the belts aren't engaged. So now those belts are engaged. Aiden is bringing the tractor over, so I'm gonna go check on that and then disengage the belts on the other one that we just finished because I forgot to do that. We built a little, well, not we, I think Perry did, little hitch that goes on the front of that tractor so we can just pull these out without bringing 
the loader forks or whatever they used to move it with. I know that makes Jaden very nervous, but he does a very good job at it. So I know he watches my YouTubes. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> is April 3rd. The guys are hauling fertilizer today. I'm gonna go tag along with Doug so I know how to do that if I ever need to. When we seed we apply anhydrous ammonia as well as a dry fertilizer and the dry fertilizer is what we're hauling today. The anhydrous ammonia goes in those white tanks back there. So that's what we do. meant to cut, take them off before we started. And then if we want to shift it down, it just twists down. Why do we use calf tags? Well, your tags. Because you can ride on them. Yes. Actually, we didn't. This is the drill we purchased and the people we bought it from. That's what they used. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. a finger off make sure you get that <laughs> no more tags didn't get a video of all of it before but we did take this smaller wrap and put it around some of these other cords too because they kind of hang all over the place we got that bigger girthier one to hold all the other hoses and then we have all of our hydraulics covered. This is the pressure and the return and then the sense and the case drain. So that comes from that power pack and we are good to go. No more tags. We'll get that one cut off, but way more organized. They're weatherproof. They also coordinate. So it's one A and one B and the one A coordinates with the left side, B coordinates with the right side. And then they also color coordinate with the little hydraulic icon right there so that is pretty schnazzy i'm impressed so i said yesterday that i've just mostly been bed rotting because that's true because i've been editing videos and uh there's enough going on at the shop but not a ton going on at the shop so it's not like all hands on deck crazy busy because we're in that waiting period before seating starts I'm getting some sprayer stuff ready. I got my private applicator's license. Um, doing a few things on tractors. I have a tarp strap for Doug that we're gonna fix if he doesn't rub me over. Uh. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna help him fix it mostly. I just wander around and help whoever needs it. And then once spraying picks back up, I'll be a lot busier and that'll be very nice because I miss being busy. It's funny because I was riding with Doug this morning and he was trying to figure out how to loop around here, get to this point in the auger and then pull forward. And I told him, it's like, Doug, you just got to loop around this way and back up in front of that tractor. And he didn't believe me. And now look at what he's doing. Funny guy.
but the angle that this is at, they gotta like, they don't have a lot of space and there's a lot of stuff on the other side of him. So, it's quite the little maneuver. It's not as simple as I made it sound. This morning that bearing went out and uh, those two bearings just went out. The other truck is also leaking coolant. I'm pretty sure that's what it's leaking. So we can't even get a whole load of fertilizer unloaded today without having problems. If this is any connotation of how spring work is gonna go, I'm quitting my job. Just kidding. It's not that easy. Matt to the rescue with the service truck. Again. So the current situation is that one of the bearings went out and she was wobbling. So one of the chains popped off of this bearing and then the chain off that bearing busted because since that bearing was wobbling, the chain popped off of this sprocket and then it popped off of that sprocket. Wait, no. That one stopped first, and then that one stopped. Anyway, chains, bearings, bleh. The bolts were rusted out on this. Obviously, you can see that's a little bit rusty, crusty, dusty. That set screw won't come out, so we're just going to pull this sprocket off. But we need a three-prong puller to get that off. And then uh, that bolt is stripped. So we're probably just going to cut that part off. But if we can save the sprocket off of it, then we're going to do that. But this is not going to be an easy fix. Because thanks to rust and designated fertilizer augers, that is not the case today. And then the truck over there that I just showed you guys has a radiator hose leak. So Tristan, I think, is fixing that. Happy Wednesday. They did not find... Oh! Wait. They're going to resort to violence later, but for right now, they're going to do that. <laughs> it's going to I think just grind it off. Do we need to go get new bearings and brocket, sprockets from Dale? Yeah, we're gonna have to. Well, I may not need a sprocket for you to keep from wrecking this one. I vote violence and a new sprocket. Yes, <laughs> 
good thing it's not Friday. So the sprocket and here. Do we want probably both better of them? get both of them. Okay. And hopefully we can get this off here. Probably not, but we'll see. But for sure the sprocket lock collar and like bearing gear. gear. Bearing, yeah. Okay. So they're going to replace that stuff. Have fun, girls. <laughs> Since there is three people on that job, I'm going to go to town and get PPE for my sprayer because I need some more of it. I'm going to get like the whole decked out suit and everything. It's going to be great. It is a new day. I've still been sleeping like garbage. My eyeballs hurt from like lack of proper amounts of sleep. But today I edited some videos. Most of the time I edit videos in the morning at home and then I'll come over to the shop. But I'm gonna check out what spray nozzles I have on the new sprayer and then I'm gonna compare it to what's on the other sprayer and make sure that we have those nozzles and then at some point I'll get those nozzles switched over because we're gonna have to start spraying in a couple weeks so there's still a lot of wetness and uh, mud but the weeds are starting to come out come into the big shop oh there we go oh they didn't even fold it up I suppose oh yeah we do not have the right nozzles Ay ay ay. Okay. All right, I took pictures of those just to make sure that the ones on the other sprayer don't match and see what needs switched out because I think those pink and purplish ones, I think the pink and purple ones were the ones that Joel was talking about apply five gallons to the acre, but I'm gonna go check. I could always look up the parts number online but it's easier to just look at what we already have. These nozzles are a little more dirty than mine were, so I'm gonna put some gloves on, and then I'm gonna take a couple of these nozzles actually into the uh, spray shop that we go to to get nozzles and all the goods and see if they're still any good. And then we'll see. These are the green ones. <laughs> Yuck. And the pink ones. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> It's not hard, it was just at a bad angle. So I have the nozzles and I have a couple extras for the season. Um, but I'm gonna pull this sprayer out of the shed. It is a little cold today. Nothing that'll kill me though. So we'll see if this thing starts again. The ceramic coat does look really good. I feel bad getting it dirty. Whenever we do nozzle stuff, I just put it all in a little bucket so I can just move along the boom. There is turkeys wandering around the shop yard. What the heck? So I've got my gloves on and I'm just gonna take the two nozzles off that I'm gonna change. I'm putting them all in a bucket and then after I'm done 
cleaning the nozzle like head and then the gasket inside just to make sure all the gaskets look good get a closer look at the nozzle tips um, then I'll put them all back on with the different tips that we just got from the store Got a whole bucket full. There is the unwanted remains. Gave those a bath and the gaskets. And now we're just putting the green tips in the black. And then we'll put the purple tips in the white caps. All right, those are all on. They're all in the position of burn down. And we should be good to go. I'm gonna fold this back up and put it back in the shop. Now that that is over, I have to go put the other like the extra nozzles I'm gonna put in my sprayer and then me and Joel will share those for whenever someone needs them and then uh, I'm gonna put the old nozzle tips in a bag and put those in the shed so that we can have them um, I don't think we'll ever use them but it's a lot of money for those and Perry is smoothing out tire tracks all over the yard he's been super muddy super gross.